Hey everybody, Liam this game here and welcome back to another episode of Ontario. Today I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to talk about um, a small loot guide that I've put together. Now keep in mind, this loot guide is only for marked locations in this map. For example, I will not go over any areas in the map which aren't marked such as the MPZ zone and areas like that. I'm just going to go over um, places which are marked on the map such as the melee base, um, the, the different towns. I'm going to say what I found after going there for a couple of times. Now keep in mind, um, these there could be much more stuff since obviously you won't get the ch same chance every single time. For example, I didn't find certain stuff, um, but you guys will get the general idea of where you need to go for you, for to get whatever you need. Um, so yeah, so starting off, we start at all of the farms. Obviously the farms, you would have all the farming loot, um, nothing, you know, the usual uh, chainsaws, seeds, food, farming, clothing, um, and so on. Now next we have is Forsala. Now Forsala is probably one of the biggest towns um, in uh, the new Greece map. Now this Forsala place has a uh, fire station. Now in the fire station you could get Goss Musk and Goss Musks are really important in this map because um, the top, like obviously there are dead zones and the main military base is in the dead zone. So obviously you would need a Goss Musk to go to the military base. Um, there's a military spawn in there which you could get like grenades, um, attachments. I've really noticed that in this map you can get a lot of attachments. Um, attachments are really easy to find in this map and also grenades. Um, other than that, normal civilian loot and um, police loot like Cobras, Blunt Forces and um, police clothing. Now we're going moving on to Tricala. Tricala is another town. This has a military spawn as well. Now both Farsala and Tricala have a small military spawn. By military spawn, I don't mean you're going to find um, like a big uh, spawn. You'll find like three normal military zombies, and uh, you know maybe you'll get lucky and get something good. Um, Tricala, you get mil there's a military spawn. There's civilian normal loot like normal clothing, normal food, the normal stuff. Mechanic loot. Now this is important. Um, because you could get blow torches, chemicals, um, and in other towns you cannot get this. Obviously, we all know how blow torches and chemicals are important um, for when it comes to craft a horde beacon or craft a chemical. I mean, craft a uh, claim flag. Obviously, you would need chemicals, um, and there's also a medication load, like a little hospital. Now, Volos is another normal town. Nothing too special. It's just a civilian area. It's a small town, um, so. There as you go there, maybe you'll find yourself some nor some food, some clothing, um, and yeah, nothing too special over there. Moving on to Larissa, we have a normal, another normal town, it's a civilian area, uh, but there is a police station. In Volos, there is not a police station, so if you're either going to Larissa or Volos, I would prefer going to Larissa because you could get yourself a blunt force, who knows. Now moving on, we have Carpenisi Mine. Now Carpenisi Mine is a mining zone. Um, you could get normal mechanic load, you could get um, car stuff like tires, engines, um, you could get flares, craftables such as glue, metal, scrap tape, rope, that kind of stuff. Um, you could get normal melees like pickaxes, hammers, that kind of, you know, normal melee, um, work lights, you know, normal, like it's basically like the Karyev of Russia. You go there to get like craftable items, you're not going to go there to get yourself um raiding weapon you know it's there for like if you need to if you need glow if you need uh, wire if you need to m mine some metal that is the place to go now moving on we have the two dead zones first we're going to start off with trinity monastery now trinity monastery is in the dead zone um it is right next to the military um so first in this place you're going to find a lot of attachments um basically any military spawn that you find in this map there's going to be attachments now uh, like grips sights scopes tacticals all kinds of attachments barrels um you're going to find military night visions mres grenades detonators um grossland military clothing which is the normal um, like military clothing for greece um jet clothing and i also found claymores and honey badgers now i don't think that this is the main loot area there are like in the dead zone, there are a bunch of other areas for you to go loot. Like there's an area where it's just medication. There's like two, three uh, crashed 
ambulances next to each other and you find yourself medication there this is in the dead zone it's unmarked there's a lot of these places in the dead zone now the main area to go to is metora military base now obviously this is the main place you find vehicles there you find your rolls you find jeeps um and you probably even find the new vehicles there not entirely sure about that um so obviously there you're going to find grips sights scopes tacticals mres le specs detonator Grizzly, Timberwolf, Grenades, Grassland Military Clothing, which is already said is the normal Greece, Greek Military Clothing, Honey Badgers, Jet Clothing, and Military Night Vision. Obviously, there is more stuff that could be there, but I just didn't find them. I went there three times on a uh, 100 times, um, like, on, I was on single player and um, had the uh, low chance to 1, normally at 0 0.35, and yeah. Obviously, you'll find normal like military stuff like smokes um, and helmets, you know, not that, that usual stuff. But those are like the items that I just mentioned are really common to find. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys learned something. Um, if I didn't mention any something that is important, please comment down in the comment section below as, as I would like to know as well, you know. Um, and yeah, hope you guys learned something. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new, I'd appreciate it if you guys subscribe, drop a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.